what's going on guys it is time for another episode of the chasing waypoints podcast and we have another special guest this time around i know you guys already read the intro so you know you know who we're talking to today we introduce him here in just a second, but we are winding down the clock. Dakar preparations are going to be starting off and they are coming in hot. If you guys have been keeping up with Willem Avedon racing and hey, we're talking about the decoding Dakar series, you might have spotted some fancy wear. Well, we're going to be talking to none other than Garrett and Marie from Mira Activewear today. So looking forward to chatting with them a little bit about the story the behind the scenes and and they got to be pretty busy. So we'll we'll talk to them here in just a second. But what are you guys doing? Are we are we ready? Are we riding road books? Are we getting ready? North American rally season kicking off. Got a lot of stuff coming up. Baja rally, Sonora rally coming up as well. You know, Kota rally. I saw the announcement today. What? No more speed limits? You guys all better be signed up. We'll be reaching out to them as well, get some more information and see what uh, what is happening there. And, and that is big news. That was one of the big contentions that people had is the speed limit thing. Oh, you got to play the game. So anyway, let's turn the party down. They're ready to talk to Garrett and Marik. Let's see if they're uh, they're there. Garrett, Marik, you guys there? Hello, hello. 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 How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> we're we're cooking over here. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> how's how's the uh, how's the morning over there? <laughs> Man, it's still a bit cold. Uh, we had we were battered with a few storms uh, last week. I don't know if you've seen on news, flooding in Cape Town and all that. But we're all still alive. And uh, oh, geez. but yeah, it's cold, freezing, it's still dark. <laughs> oh man, Africa, we get cold. Yeah, for Af- for Africa, it's cold. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, here, Southern California, it's currently 80 degrees and dark outside as well. But <laughs> our sun just went away. It's on its way over to you right now. Yeah, <laughs> <Finally. see> <laughs> You should see it in a minute. <laughs> it's, Excellent. It's, it's always it's always a kind of a weird thing. Like, you know, we're talking uh, with uh, guests that are on completely different time zones. And especially like in this case, I mean, you guys are literally almost opposite of us. <laughs> that's a yeah. bit mind-boggling sometimes as well i know it gives a it gives a uh, a real picture of how big the planet is <laughs> that you're yeah. oh, completely sure. different okay so oh, yeah. you guys uh I'm, i think you could hear the intro i don't even i've never been on the receipt i've never been a guest on my own show so i don't know <laughs> if you can hear the uh, the intro but yeah. how how are you guys doing i mean we're getting ready for the dakar already right Yes, yes. Yeah, we've had some uh, some guys asking for quotes already and getting it ready to, to chat to the sponsors. Um, also, and we're doing a new spandex jacket now that's going to go for those guys. Yeah, full. Yeah, so that's uh, we haven't actually launched it yet, but yes. uh, we can use your show to launch it. So we've actually uh, managed to source a full. Um, uh, full spandex jacket, uh, kind of like the the one that Alpine Star and Kenny also has. Mm. So uh, we've had a few requests from the private guys if it's possible that we can get a jacket like that. So we've managed to source it, and it will be available. Nice. Mm. So that's a uh, that's an interesting one. I mean, I hadn't thought about that, but w- what's the background? Like, why would somebody want a spandex jacket? What what's the benefits? Of it? Um, so basically, when the air, air vest was launched, mm-hmm. the the guys um, were quite a, kind of restricted with uh, the canvas type of type jackets, um, and the easiest way was for those companies to actually give, give them or have a jacket that's fully expandable any on all sides, back, front, uh, sleeves. Um, so as to so you have like a, a set size. For, for the rider, and if the if the air vest actually goes off, um, there's no limitation. Whereas we had to research a little bit and add uh, specific panels into our jacket to actually allow for the expansion. Mm-hmm. So it's just easier. Yeah, I think our our, our normal air vest one is probably more durable for 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 you know because it's got only the stretch panels, but then the thicker material front and back and sleeves. Yeah. But this one, it will be super tight, so you put all your stuff in there, and it like 
it's like Moldy. molds over your jacket. So I wouldn't say if you fall, it's probably not going to be as strong. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. But it's going to be like completely fitted. All your stuff will fit in there and it is completely expandable. And then all your logos and that sort of thing. Well, that's the point also of the jacket of, of showing off all your sponsors. Yeah. It's obviously also going to be on there. So maybe you'll use two or three for the decor versus our only the one that we currently sell and you can do the decor in only one jacket. Mm. So, yeah. We'll just offer all of those things, so depending on what you kind of like to wear, you know. Yeah, yeah because we've got guys uh, wearing our normal jackets, I think it's the fourth year now, mm-hmm. so it's really durable, whereas uh, the spandex one will most probably only last you a race or two yeah, or maybe uh, one year. Okay. I guess it depends on the rider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Mira's stuff, <laughs> we've seen that Mira's stuff actually um, allows you to ride better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I, I think pray. that. Well, and, and, you know, that's a really interesting point because now, like I'm seeing, like we see a lot of motocross here um, in the States and I'm seeing now it's like the fitted, the fitted kit. Everything is fitted. Yeah. It's like skinny jeans, you know, really tight fitted. The jackets, the jerseys, right. everything is really tight fitted and they don't yeah. want any kind of slack. So this is interesting kind of a shift, but it makes sense, especially yeah. with the airbag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's the one thing that can definitely kill you in a ride or a race is something that doesn't fit properly. It's uh, something chafing you or anything like that. I mean, so... It's, I've had it before on a, on an adventure ride and it's, it, um, yeah, as it was before we had the mirror kit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you don't, you don't want that. It's, it's, it's just as bad as a helmet that doesn't fit quite right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> it's, it's doing that. Uh, speaking of adventure stuff, I see, uh, I see you guys are also expanding that a little bit more as well. Yeah. So, uh, also from the, from the guys doing their rallies, uh, some some people basically knocked on the door and said, "Listen, so they adventure riders, but they also want the custom fit and they also want their own logos. Is there any way we can can help them out?" And we decided we'll do a best of both worlds jacket. So it's your rally jacket with uh, removable adventure or basically padding. Mm-hmm. And um, so oh, level two, yeah, the level Sastic two plastic padding. padding that you find in most most of your high-end adventure jackets. So it's imported from Germany and uh, it's also made tailor fit. So basically we've had some really interesting uh, people. uh, Bodies. bodies. People that can't find stuff, like really can't find stuff. And there's such a market for people that just can't find stuff that fit properly. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, and it's it's been very successful. I mean, even dig, even like remotely, yeah, we've got a quite a quite a measurement sheet, and then they fill it out, and then I do everything on the computer digitally, mm-hmm. and then the success rate is really really good because mm, nice. I've got a lot of data also, you know, mm-hmm. and that I use to look and shame. Some people have really struggled and have really found stuff that fits. <laughs> Yeah. So it's been very cool. Yeah. So no, no matter what body size you are, um, tall, what uh, it's, it's, we can make it fit, and it, it looks, it looks the part in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's you know, and this is really, this is really interesting. So I, I work, you know, besides doing the podcast and, and working with Chasing Waypoints, I, I do the, I, I work at a BMW motorcycles dealership here in San Diego, mm-hmm. and the gear has been such a, uh, it's so, um, you know, we see riders come in and the, the jacket is way too big on them, but it's because of the height or the sleeve length, you know, there's never, uh, unless you're the person that was the model for the fit in Germany, you know, it's, there's a very high likelihood that (laughs) something's going to be off. Yes, exactly. That's the thing. So it's amazing, tall and skinny or like somebody with just a big tummy or somebody with just thick legs or whatever. It's like they can do anything. Or just someone that looks like a Viking that just can't find anything. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, we have, I mean, it's it's interesting to see. I mean, we do. We have riders that come in that are all shapes and sizes and, and it's always that battle of, you know, well, 
I like the way this fits, but the sleeves are short and I don't, you know. Always needs to compromise somewhere. Yes. Exactly. yeah. So that's really our other big market. So besides now for the rally guys, yeah. like the, the adventure guys that don't find stuff to fit. And it's not just the, the jacket. We also do the pants, adventure yes. pants or… Okay. OB pants, in-boot pants, yeah. out-boot pants. So it's basically, I mean, that I think that we've, we're sitting now with another guy that's actually local mm-hmm. that just can't find proper proper pants and him, because yeah. he's got an odd body his body is really weird mm-hmm. yeah but, well he's got yeah and we yeah, we'll sort him out no issues yeah. yeah and this is and i mean i'm i'm, I'm on the website now uh miraactivewear.co.za and I, i'm looking through the products and i mean it, all the way down the line i mean all the way down to neck gaiters yes. <laughs> or the buffs as they call them yes oh, and neck gaiters <laughs> yeah <laughs> Crew shirts, pit shirts, uh, the jerseys, yes. I mean, everything. And, and all of that. No, I'm sorry, that was? Uh, sorry. Yeah. So, so we've also, we haven't, up, we need to update the, the product page. Mm-hmm. We also added a, a down jacket now as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Proper wind, uh, wind, uh, wind and waterproof down jacket that's being, that w- that's, that's been tested at Dakar now for the past two years. Um the top riders are, and the local riders are riding with it. Nice. So actually, the KTM factory team's riding with it. Um, so it's actually really good. Yeah. And we've got a team down jacket as well. So we'll add that on the website soon. Yeah. Very nice. The website is a little. Yeah. yeah uh, it needs to be updated. Yeah, we've been so, bu- we've been <laughs> so busy with the product itself. We haven't updated the, the website. Yeah. And so this is, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I'm starting to feel like there's, uh, you know, when you, when we're watching the Dakar from afar, right, you start to see a lot of these jackets and you guys are one of the only providers that have the, you know, that the make a lot of these jackets. And even, I think you just alluded to, even for some of the factory teams, you guys do the one-off stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. For the, the, the down jacket. The down yeah. jacket. The down and the, we call it the rain jacket. Yeah, mm-hmm. a wind stopper. A wind stopper. So some of the teams, they call it yeah, the wind stopper. Um, so they put it over those spandex jackets. Yeah. Got yeah, it. actually. So it eats up that spandex jacket mm-hmm. a little bit. I think, yeah, they, they're they so freaking good. I don't know. I don't know if they fall. <laughs> I don't know. What, I do want to know what it looks like after. I can't get her to fall so I can see what it looks like. You know, like the stuff. <laughs> the testing. What it's, the proper, the proper testing. I'm asking him to fall, but it's not working. <laughs> yeah. That's why I say uh, the, the gear makes me a better rider. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my gear. That's, you know, you see that a lot in the adventure bike guys. That, that's why they don't take them off road. They don't want to scratch them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, almost, like, almost like that. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, yeah. So I'm I'm curious to know, and I mean, and I think that you guys would have, uh, you may see this, the transition from the custom rally jackets, the standard rally jacket that you guys have been doing, you know, for for some time, to now the version that has the airbag compatibility, um, and obviously this is going to cross over to the spandex, but. Has there been a big shift? Like, n- really, no more of the standard jackets are being ordered. Everything is now airbag style. Or? No, mm. no, it's like a fifty-fifty. I think mm. the the we call it the, yeah the AVS jacket with a the spandex mesh in it mm-hmm. um, is only more for your serious races. Mm-hmm. But you get some adventure guys. Have we yeah. even had a guy or two that once? panels, spandex panels with the armor. So mm. then sometimes he will wear his ride, his road, um, oh, oh, what's that bang. thing? No, that road, uh, oh, the, the air vest, yeah. he would wear it, but then he would also want the option to not wear it and have the, um, the armor thing. in there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So ah. we've had a combo stuff, So this, but they're still mostly ride, ride, the normal guys are mostly riding with. The, the normal rally with the jacket. normal rally jacket mm-hmm. and the, or the, the armor, okay. and because we we do a full custom design, basically the 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 end user can decide if they want uh, mesh panels in like the normal rally jacket, or if they want a full um, solid panel of fabric, or maybe perforated. So it's really fully customizable. Mm-hmm. 
and I guess uh, the rallies mostly where the AV is. Yeah, more yeah, more the guys. So the serious the serious riders uh, doing the FIM races where your AV is mandatory. Mm-hmm. Um, also, the privateers where they upgraded to AV vests yeah. and um, just to be safer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you, we, we want to have that stuff and the safety side of it. And, uh, a mm. lot of, you know, and, and it's interesting. I mean, I'm glad that you guys are doing it and, and taking the time because I, like I recently purchased the Alpine stars, uh, air vest, the tech air off road, and then, and mm. also one of their street ones and the guidance in it for the wear of, you know, what you can wear over it and the measurement, it's kind of vague. You know, it, uh, so having something like what you're talking is like the I think it's like the ultimate solution because I mean, I don't know the 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 vein side of us. We don't want to wear an overly big jacket because it just doesn't look it's yeah. like wearing an improperly fitted suit at a wedding. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, we may just be going to the local <laughs> coffee shop, but we also don't want to look like, you know, we want to look professional. And so yeah. that, I think that, yeah, that that combination of, you know, maybe the the expandable panels like the spandex panel, the the mesh, especially now with these airbags that they don't breathe. The airbag is in the yeah. way. So, yeah, mesh panels, I think, are going to be a big, you know, a big hit for this. So it's a. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, just to, to add on that, so for Willem, you've had a few episodes with Willem already. Mm-hmm. Um, he he's also from from here, and he doesn't like to sweat. So <laughs> <laughs> and with that Everest, I mean, when we went to Abu Dhabi, mm-hmm. um, it was really hot, and one of his biggest concerns was that he's gonna he's gonna dehydrate with that Everest on and with a jacket or his suit, mm-hmm. and uh, we made him a fully perforated suit especially for him and that it, it, it worked quite well even to such an extent that uh, he was a bit chilly the the one day <laughs> well hey <laughs> but it's what he wanted so <laughs> no yeah. i think i've so, uh, uh, so i did there's see a few it. options out there yeah no and you, and you know yeah i did see the uh, i did see that suit he wrote, he wore it at uh, the southern california rally here in uh, here in california and, and oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, all the mesh panels, all of that stuff. And I mean, to me, I, I, I am more of a fan of the, the layering side of it. If I knew it was going to be cold mm-hmm. and I was, I, I would rather overheating is more dangerous, I think, than being cold. Yeah. It's yeah, an correct. easier, a, a trash bag will, you know, go over the suit and it'll stop the wind and it's, it's enough to do something. But if you're, yes. if your kit is sealed and there's no perforation to it, then that's it. You know, mm. open the vents. Yeah. You, you have less options, I guess. So yes, I think that's yes, a, yes. excellent. And so let's see, we're doing. So we got the the suits um, that are coming. What does and and I mean, I'm 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 seeing this, and I'm just remembering all these customers within the last two three weeks that I've dealt with. You know, that have come in about jackets. You know, it's the summertime, and they're looking. You know, it's kind mm. of riding season, and they're looking for the new jackets. Uh, what kind of like turnaround, like, you know, okay, we order a jacket, you know, earlier today on a Monday, uh, or I don't know what day it is for you guys there. It's Tuesday already? Yeah. Tuesday yeah, yeah. morning. Uh. Tuesday. Okay. Well, you know, what kind of like turnaround, you know, I know that especially as soon as we get closer to the Dakar, it's going to be much longer, right? Busy doing that. But, yes. you know, what is the process like? So basically, normally customers make contact either through uh, the website or email, WhatsApp. Um, and from design, so uh, we, we would normally between... Eh? Can I yeah, say? Yeah, go, go for it. Listen, because he's just going blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the yeah, thing is, it depends. <laughs> yeah. It depends. Mm-hmm. It depends if there's color testing and if it's a very complicated jacket. Mm-hmm. So it's up to six weeks, okay, um, yeah. the turnaround time. If someone has a specific date that they want it, mm-hmm. I can squeeze it out. Yeah, you know, possible. it is possible, but it's normally up to six weeks yeah. until shipping. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, if it's more kind of lots of different color testing and that sort of thing, we print. It takes a few days to print, and then I test colors and that. But normally, most the, the worst case scenario is six six, six weeks. Weeks. Yeah. six weeks. Okay. But um, 
Yeah, but from it can be done within. If, yeah, yeah, in two weeks, weeks, but it depends on how big, busy we are. Also, yeah. so yeah, like if and you say, if Dakar is coming up, then yes, then we're going to be chock a block. But say January mm-hmm. or for in January and February, it's probably a, Not a lot busy. less quiet, you know. Yeah, and all the way now until about October. Because yes, now until October is good. Yeah, as and, soon as they the announce. <laughs> As soon as yeah. the acceptance letters <laughs> like, go out for the Dakar. <laughs> yeah, yes. that should be this week sometime, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but the one thing that also takes some time normally is your design, is the design process, yes. the graphics. Mm-hmm. Yes. And especially with the time zone differences, uh, we'll be doing some concept design, send it off, and then uh, if it's someone in the U.S. or someone, they'll still be sleeping, we'll wait. Next morning, we wake up. So there's always like a day delay. Yeah. Uh, oh, people cool. in Australia, we have the same issue there. Yeah. Um, so the design process normally takes a bit longer. Um, but if that design is already figured out, then the the production process is quite quick. People also that know what they want, it's normally quicker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People that have a very clear idea of what they want to look like and what they want to see, mm-hmm. and they're very specific. When when they when they do the measurement sheet, they they're very very thorough with it, and they add photos. Those kind of people will move quickly with that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, it makes it. When there's that. not a lot of questions or not a lot of wondering, mm, I don't know what I should do. Can you send me some concepts? Ooh, I, that sort of thing takes longer normally. Yeah. Now we've had a guy now that's been yes. trying to figure out his design for three months. <laughs> yeah, so that you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then he changes his mind. And then, yeah, so, I think yeah. it's hard sometimes because you can do anything. So that does make it a little bit more difficult. It, it and is. it also takes a lot of guts to wear something colorful, you Some, know, because normally it's only black or gray out there. Mm-hmm. So it takes a lot of guts to wear something that's, you know, yeah, busy try, or it has more to it. We try to inspire people to be a bit different. Uh, I mean, you don't have to. You can just do grey. It's you can, fine, you know. But you have this amazing suit, and you've got a blank <laughs> canvas, and just be, be a bit out there a little bit. Yeah. Live a little. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> exactly. It will make you look good. Yeah, and I, you know, and, and one of the things that I like, I mean, something like this, right, is for a lot of people, especially like when they go into the to the BMW shop, you look at the price of a standard, you know, the BMW rally jacket. Uh, with its pockets and with all of the stuff and the armor in it and all that stuff. And and I mean, I don't really want to get into the conversation of pricing, but you're it, it's an investment, you know, to buy one of these jackets. And the idea of kind of settling for the fit for that amount of money mm-hmm. is kind of eh, where, you know, with something yeah. like this, this is actually uh, even more of a viable option. To be able to, if I, if, okay, if I'm going to spend, if I'm going to commit to spending the money, I would much rather, even if it didn't have a fancy design on it, but it was a tailor made jacket with a couple basic logos. Now, this is something that I'm thinking about is what are like the, the restrictions with logos and stuff like that? I mean, is this, um, you know, it, does it require like license? Like, could I get any, like if I wanted a BMW logo on my jacket because I ride a BMW, I mean, is it possible to do that? With a big major um, companies, look, there is some restrictions already. Mm-hmm. Uh, biggest one we have is definitely your Red Bull and Kinney. We don't do Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. We don't print, print Red Bull. So, um, but the smaller ones like uh, we've had uh, the Liet guys have uh, um, got, confirmation from their side as well a few years ago when we started everything in South Africa. Um, then your KTM, we haven't had any issues. We checked in with the local guys as well. And um, if the guy comes to us with a specific logo that we see might cause issues, we mm-hmm. need to make sure that they've got approval to use it. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I mean, that's pretty yeah. standard. Yeah, BMW, no, I mean, it's like the big manufacturers, Ducati, uh, BMW, KDM, Yamaha. Um, we haven't, uh, there's no... We haven't had issues, yeah. but, but yeah, yeah, so we do put it on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so there, there is... On a, request of the customer, yeah. yeah. There's a clause also that um, you as the end user, you are wanting this on, uh, the logo's on, so you need to also have 
approval from your sponsors mm -hmm. to use it sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, we haven't yeah. had any, we have printed BMW and that. We haven't had any issues. The only thing is we have requested it from Red Bull before and they said definitely no. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that was the a hard only deal. one. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like, damn, because people love Red Bull. Eh? They want to put Red Bull on it, and yeah. it's like, sorry. Yeah. And because but otherwise, nobody have ever said anything. I don't know why. No. What? We, and we've done some some uh, kits for the local guys as well, mm -hmm. um, like the KTM retailers in, in South Africa, and no issues there. It's more for more marketing for them. Yeah. So. Yeah, I wouldn't. That, yeah. See, that's the thing is, I wouldn't have a. Uh, I, I don't know who would have a qualm with that. You know, I, yeah. and, and, and only because also, I think I recently saw another suit that was made and I saw the, the, the chasing waypoints logo on it. I'm like, cool. Yes. You know, this is awesome. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we put it on a lot of them, eh? We yeah. do have some, some guys here and there from America that we put your logo on. <laughs> nice. I appreciate that. And yeah, yeah. I would, it's like, why would anybody take issue with it? You know, now I could see, you know, if on the web, like if I went on the website right now and I scroll down and I'm like, oh, look, there's a, a a replica Red Bull factory racing, you know, jacket. Mm. I could see that being something right where, you know, that's like, no, they're yes. literally selling this to the public, to anybody that will buy it. Yes. That's a different story. But if, you know, one of their riders, uh, uh, you know, a, more of a bespoke thing. Eh, yes. Know, just do it. Whatever. I mean, you could even. You can even pay them. I mean, if, if you, if as, as the end customer, if you had to pay a little fee to put on a Red Bull, you would do it, yeah. you know. So why mm. can't they just charge? You say that you, you buy the logo for like a license shoes. fee. Yeah, you like know, a that would be awesome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If, they, if they would do that, that would be cool, you yeah. know, but they don't do that. Mm. I also ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that. You know, that's, I know. It, it, I think that's a really good. You know, I think that's a really good idea. If you know, for them, it's like, oh, look, the, yeah. like, like w people are willing to pay to put my logo on it. Meanwhile, you know, I I've seen I've had two bikes come in, two of the the S one thousand double R the street bikes come in in full Red Bull graphics. So I know for yeah. a fact that they that they did not <laughs> that they're not Red Bull backed. <laughs> that somebody oh, printed yeah. it I, and it's like <laughs> you know they get okay. I don't know how they get away with it but it's like you know exactly I guess it's yeah, yeah just, we are like so scared to touch Red Bull yeah. but yeah. the rest is at this point <laughs> I mean we've got access to all the official artworks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. from KTM <laughs> because we do their kit for them uh, and uh, but yeah so we've had a few requests already listen like a Toby Price um Replica jacket, please, man. It's like, ah, go away. Sorry, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> we signed a nice big uh, the contract with them, so no. Yeah, and it was just oh, like, okay, yeah. so here, 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 yeah. it, here's, here's how it goes. Yes, we will make you that jacket, but we will then also be closing the shop because if we don't do it, <laughs> they will come then in we'll and do it. Make. <laughs> and then we expect yeah. a salary of this every year from you. <laughs> In exchange for your replica jacket. How do we feel about that? <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. That's an idea. When we get tired of doing what we're doing, I think we'll do that. There you go. Yeah, this is, is going to be the... You yep. want some royalty. Yeah, exactly. We're going to get... Yeah. And and it's for putting the business at risk. But, you know, I, I, I'll joke in this. I mean, it's, it's, things to, it's things to consider. But, I mean, I'm you know, the the artwork, the quality of the jacket. I mean, I've, I've seen a bunch of them in person, you know, a lot, like you mentioned earlier, right? The, the, about the American rally guys, the guys that are from here that have gone to the Dakar that have had their jackets done and have all this stuff. The gear is, is, is top notch. I mean, there's no, like the, the quality, the materials, the printing, you know, for me, I'm, I'm a very big, like, you know, the, the, the bleeding of, you know, the, the clarity of the logos and everything is just really, really awesome. Yes. So I well, know. we've got someone like Marika that's really pedantic, and <laughs> like uh, if something's not right and it's a little bit of bleeding, mm, over reprint. Yeah. Well, we yeah. got our new fabric, twelve hundred D fabric. We used to use six hundred D, so it's thinner. Mm -hmm. So we got twelve hundred D, six hundred yards. So it's not a little bit of fabric; it's a lot of fabric, yeah. and we did our first print on it. 
for Happy Dave, actually, that oh, yes. little oh, yeah. face. You must know Happy Dave, that face. Mm-hmm. He was the first customer. He was the first guy to get out new fabric, mm-hmm. but the a non-perforated one. Okay. And we printed it, and it smudged. It was look, looked like that little face was crying. It went <laughs> like black <laughs> smudges. Yeah. I printed, and we were like devastated. It didn't want to do it because we print in a roller system. It's not a flat bed, so it's rolling. Mm-hmm. And oh my word, it was so hectic. Eventually, we printed it on the perforated for him because the perforated didn't do that thing for some reason. Yeah. And now, you know, as we went on, we realized, okay, how you must handle this fabric. You must pull it like really tight and all sorts of things. So now we don't have that issue. Yeah. But it was, it was stressful times in the beginning when we got that fabric. Yeah. I think we, the first, the, uh, Dave's, Happy Dave's jacket actually took about 20 yards mm-hmm. of test printing. Yes, it was hectic. <laughs> Just to make sure we, and it's too late. You got 600 yards. That's it. You have to make it work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. We're, we're, we're running out the roll here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you since then, I mean, it's, yeah. it's been, we, and we, you got to know the fabric, you know, to, to handle it. And so I've got an amazing printing company that um, we don't print in house, we, we send it away. Okay. Um, so it takes two or three days. But Josh, she's amazing. So we've mm. been working together for, for very long. Yeah. And I yeah. followed her from her printing company to another new company. So okay. one day when we do our own printing, I will be taking her from her yeah. company. Yeah, she'll be working for us. <laughs> she may not know this, but <laughs> that's what's coming. <laughs> she doesn't know it yet, but I've got plans for her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's very pedantic also. Like if anything, if there's a little mark and yeah. or yeah, and some colors do tend to struggle to print also. So that's another thing that we do with customers. If a guy comes here wants a light gray or something like that, I might advise him to rather um make it darker or go perforate it. So there's some limitations sometimes, yeah. you know, like that. Um, because sublimation printing also has its own special features. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know all that sort of stuff by now. Yeah. Well, and that I mean that's that's good. I mean it's part of the it's the part of developing a jacket. Part of develop. I mean it's it's all of it, right? It's not just the where yes. to put the vents. It's not where to put the material. It's also yes. how to print it correctly and doing that stuff. So that's. There's been a lot of research in this. I, I'm, I'm, it's what I'm hearing. <laughs> yes, yes, a lot of time spent. I mean, we've been doing it for how many years? Six years now. Wow. Yeah. Since our first Dakar, I guess. Yeah, the f- first Dakar yeah. was 2018. Yes. Argentina. How? Uh, so I'm, I'm curious. And so, how did that? How did that happen? How did this uh, get started? So. Um, the local rally scene, been racing ar- around, and my wife, uh, she was doing her own ladies' wear, and I would always sneak in some kind of a, a shirt. He wants like a MX shirt or whatever. They would push it out, like whatever. And she'll be like, "Man, I don't want to do any bike clothing, man. It's ladies' wear." And I'll just push in a few shirts for me and my mates, sublimated printing and whatever, uh, because it's sublimation printing. I, I had my one shirt was full of uh, my sponsors uh, gave me pictures of themselves like selfies and um you know the selfie shirt so everybody's <laughs> face on the shirt like all little selfies you'll see it on the website there so that was uh, one of the iconic shirts and then uh, donovan came. yeah two of, uh, donovan came and one of my good mates came to us and said listen so i'm gonna enter dakar and um can you make me a jacket? Because he's tried, and we, it's quite difficult for a privateer to get a proper jacket, mm-hmm. from especially from South Africa. And uh, we said, man, why not? We can make anything. <laughs> <laughs> and a few months went past, and he's like, okay, so I got my entry for Dakar House a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we all of a sudden, we were like, oh, damn, we have to make him a jacket. We promised him. And... We, How to find fabric? I mean, what do you find for that sort oh, of stuff? So we had six months to to find something and develop something. So we went to all the guys that's done Dakar before and um, had a good chat with them. What was good? What was bad about the jacket they wore? And in the end, we we managed to make him, four, and, uh, him and another guy from South Africa that went Willem de Toy um, to Dakar. We made them both two jackets and the rain jacket and 
it survived the full 14 days. I mean, days. that fabric was not great. I've no. seen it now after, we've, you know, it just, it's like so thin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it did survive. And it's like, you know, it's so terrible fabric. Oh, oh I tried to put it in my jacket now. <laughs> But both jackets survived, yep. and they, they crossed the finish line, both of them. And uh, I was fortunate enough to actually be there, seeing them coming over the finish line, and it was was amazing. And then from there, it was it's basically just word of mouth. Yeah, just word of mouth since then. So no real marketing or anything, word of mouth, and it just grew. Until I sold nice. the ladies' wear, and now I'm just doing this. Yeah, <laughs> and now she's only making black ladies. <laughs> what? So this started with yeah. a no. We're not making this. To yeah. now. It's like, you know, okay. I'm not saying you were right, Garrett, but we know we know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I'm, I'm looking at uh, I'm on the uh, I'm on your Instagram uh, at Mira Activewear. And mm. and just kind of looking and you guys have had. Yeah, there's a lot of designs that you guys have done. I mean, there's no there's no pattern, right? There's no like, oh, look, it's the same. But in these three colors, yeah. everybody's. Yes. Been unique. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. That's wow. very cool. Is there, she works up closely with each customer, you know, it's like a WhatsApp group and then all email. But mm -hmm. And it's really a cool process. And oh, there's sometimes such cool individual stuff. There'll be one on soon of a guy that's got a light blue jacket with pink zip stuff. Yeah. It's and super like amazing. And like a retro thing with a big robot at the back. A transformer. A transformer. <gasps> oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's really, yeah. it's a really special thing to do. Some people put like really nice uh oh, in memory of the special of, of another special person or dedicated to people that's not here anymore so there's some really cool stories also with each you know person that yeah. we do or maybe a logo of something that reminds them of some or just motivates them and uh, it's it's cool to see that those individuals yeah and to hear their stories yeah, yeah. to be part of it yeah, yeah but there, there's more to it it's not just you know the no. uh, you know, it's not just another logo. It has some kind of representation. Yes. No, and it's it's also in the end, it's not just the jacket we put in the box. It's a, it's like a an art piece, and yeah. it's, it gets sent off to to this person, and it's a special garment, really. Yeah. It's not just a jacket or yeah. pants. Yeah, because I think it's nice to have something made just for you. Like, I don't think you expect, we had a customer here that had a jacket and he said he put on his BMW or whatever jacket again after we bought ours and he put ours back on because you don't realize what it really feels like when something is made for your body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It ha yeah. yeah, everything, it's. Um, it's that favorite shirt. It's that favorite pair of pants. It's yeah. that favorite jacket, you know, and, and you, you know, just in your regular streetwear, there's always that one garment yeah. that you put on that you're like, yeah, I like how this fits. You know, it just so yeah. happens to fit just right. And so, you yeah. know, with the measurements and the process that you guys do, because I've seen the order sheets and I mean, you guys request, there's, there's some measurements, you know, you have to, you know, it's not a pick one off the page kind of thing. Like no. you, you need to get a measuring tape when you're going to have to do this, but yes. there's a reason behind it. And no. I mean, I do, we do sometimes if somebody struggles and we can do it online, you get meeting a team's a meeting call. or Google meet or whatever, we can do it with them. And I've got lots of data already. So I can tell when somebody didn't, this is not, this is not correct. Mm -hmm. So they just go with, okay, somebody that's similar then I'll just go and look at it and then just see, okay, that's, and if the thing gets there and it doesn't fit mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't work, then we replace it. Really. It's yeah. like in the end, it needs to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And then if I already have something to work from, then the second one will be even a better fit. Oh. You know what I mean? So we, yeah. So if it doesn't work and it's too loose or it's too, whatever, I don't know, the sleeves are too short or something went wrong, mm -hmm. then I replace it. Yeah. So uh, it, it yeah. doesn't happen often. It does happen, yeah. you know. Yeah. 
um, of course, it, has, it, could, it would be amazing if it never happened, but it does happen sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was I mean, off. The measurement was a little bit off, or or it was right around the holidays, and you know, there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, the guy wants it. It's it more fitted. So the more, and every time there's something that doesn't work, mm-hmm. I add it into my data. You know, every time, and then we improve on it yeah. every time. So yeah. it's it's always we always check in with people and say, how did the thing fit? How did it perform at the rally? How have you? How, even if it's not a rally, just. A few months later, how how's it going still? And then whatever feedback we get, yeah. we, yeah. we put it into our new, you know, the upcoming products. Yeah, so it's a, it's a growing product. It never we never stop developing on it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> good. I mean, I think that's you know I, I I think it's important because it's all these like it's the little changes, it's the little things, you know. Mm. And then you can always have a customer profile like, yeah, this person likes to always send yes. us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. whatever they exactly. send add three percent to the sizes because <laughs> that's because yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we know they like sure. to exaggerate a little yeah but that's yes, yes. so if i have and i know I, I think you guys are getting it's getting close for you guys right to to uh get the morning routine going out. yeah yes. <laughs> but uh so my question is this okay and i promise not to tell him but was there is there a favorite jacket is there one where it ran, it came off the line and it was ready to go and you guys just took a second and said this is amazing what- Yo, happy dave yeah, yeah, <laughs> our ladies still talk about happy dave yeah this last one because he had the perforated stuff on the front and mm. then he had spandex sides so mm. and his one was super fitted Ah. You know, so it's super tight. So yes, my ladies still talk about the one from Happy Day. The smiley face jacket. The smiley the, face the, jacket. The smiley face jacket. Yep, that is. <laughs> yes. uh, so that is, and he was the, like we said, the first one in our new fabric, and that. So it was. And he's been awesome. a loyal customer. Yo, he's, a, he's had a few jackets made. There's a few jackets out there with his uh, smiley face on it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's still got some of the new, or some of the old fabric. Mm. And before I even did the digital patterns, then we still used Paper. a base pattern yeah. in, in in cardboard. Mm-hmm. You know, so I would choose the one that's closest to the guy's size and maybe put a few lengths here and there. Yeah. But now I draft the thing. Now it's, it's actually a it's actually a bad thing that I can do it like this because now I like tweak like a centimeter <laughs> here and a <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not a, necessarily a good thing <laughs> that yeah. I can do it. <laughs> well, that's what they say. The, the devil's in the details. It's a little bit of a here, yeah. a little bit of there, and yeah. Exactly. Mm, yeah. My word. I have to stop myself to say a centimeter is not going to make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, we may be in the same, but I, I think it does. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't it you does. mean it's yeah. like, yeah. you can do it. Why not just quickly? Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Excellent. Oh, man. These are, yeah. I mean, yeah. So uh, at Mira Active Wear is uh, the Instagram profile. I'm, I'm just blown away by how many designs, you know, how many jackets you guys have done. And, and they vary yeah. from something kind of simple to just wild, happy Dave wild. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's there. Uh, so. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, eh? Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's a lot of fun. Excellent. And in clothing, to find something that works. I mean, I've been doing it for 20 something years. Mm. Ah. And finally, something really works. And it's fun. And it's fun and it's it's complicated and, you know, it's it's, it's stressful for sure. Yeah. But, but then and without that, there's no balance. It can't just go Because well. every time you send something out and you're waiting for the feedback mm-hmm. and they've you know, okay, I just got my box and you sweating over here. Okay, put it on. <laughs> just try Hurry it on up. first. <laughs> just put it on your body. <laughs> yeah. Just get it done. I want to know that it's yeah. good. And then, yeah. And we, and we move on. Yes, and they go ride with it. <laughs> no, then, oh. And then it's like, uh, Constant. normally when I'm checking the, the WhatsApp group and it's like, and she's looking at my face, it's like, what's it? What's that? What, what did they say? Is it, is it for, I don't want to look at them. I don't want to look at them. <laughs> America. I'm not even looking at them. It's not them. It's something else. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with so, the fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's very serious for us. I, I must say it's very serious for us to make sure it's great, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, it's 100%. It's exceptional. Be exceptional, yeah. you yeah. know? Well, yeah, that's the 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 pride in 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 the product. 
I mean, it's what yeah. you guys are doing. I mean, that's, that is, uh, that's the difference, you know, anybody, I, I'm not going to say anybody, but fairly straightforward to just throw together some gear or, or go off of a big box yeah. company and just buy whatever they have. And, but yeah. it's a whole nother, you know, to, to invest in the gear and, and have something that's you and that's unique. Yeah. Yes, Great. Yes, yes. Oh, very nice. Uh, future, we know we've got uh, spandex uh, material coming uh, for the new new jackets that hasn't made it onto the website yet. Any other uh, new products or things people should know about? Um, do we? Mm. No, it's just that spandex okay. one. Oh, yeah. we, just a, down, a light down and jacket. And a lightweight down jacket for teams. Mm -hmm. And one of our little humans woke up now. So, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's Mira, the alarm the, clock. The, <laughs> the lady, a little Mira that inspired the whole name and all that. Yeah, um, yeah so this it says it's only the spandex stuff that's coming up. Mm -hmm. And um yeah, and nice. a lightweight down jacket. Yeah, 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 down yeah. jacket, yeah. That'll be nice. And I know because they've uh that seems to be a common theme that the Dakar is, is chilly in the mornings. So it'd be yes, nice to have yes. something. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. But Gareth believes in his system of taking your jacket and then just putting your rain jacket over it. He says that's warm enough. Yeah, yeah. it works like a charm. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like <laughs> we, we were talking about it earlier. It's, I mean, you, you can always add a layer, but when, you, when you're too hot, I mean, you don't want that. And yeah. so just the base layer jacket or the normal jacket with that uh, rain shell or the wind stopper like they call it add it on there and you sort it mm -hmm. and it's very small it fits into the actual yeah, it's like normal a brick jacket of, a brick yeah. of butter small even smaller nice yeah yeah so it's easy to carry with you you know for something like put that put it yeah. in your bag yeah, yeah. comes in a little small bag and you just chuck it in there and you can actually put it around your in the front of your your bike next to your um your gauges mm -hmm. add it in there so you always have it somewhere handy yeah yeah, you don't have to worry about, you know, it, it's not going to be something that's cumbersome and you'll wish you have it <laughs> when yeah. it gets time. So, mm. yeah, for sure. Excellent. But I mean, if somebody is very specific, I want a, um, a warm layer under my jacket or whatever, whatever. I mean, we can really actually do anything. <laughs> Honestly, I can put a, like a, a layer inside. Um, yeah, we, we're small. I mean, we currently still have a one room in the house that's our studio. Yeah. Uh, we've got two ladies sewing for us. We've got three three yeah. staff. Three, three staff, staff and then me. Yeah. So it's, there's four of us doing this. Yeah. So it's yeah. nothing big and that's that's what makes it so nice. So if someone comes with a real special request, it is it is all possible. Yeah. It just takes at a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got a customer now that's got like a stretchy Jean type of oh my pants. word access yo now he wants me to go look for other fabric i'm like but well, da, 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 da. <laughs> so now i have to find something that i can sublimate on because he likes like a little skinny pant but he wants a whole it's like a blue camo camo ah. his whole suit must his be whole blue. suit must be a blue camo so now i'm doing the blue camo jacket cool yeah. But he doesn't like bike pants. He wants like a normal jean, skinny jean, skinny jean uh, kind of thing. Yeah. So he, but the so same, graphic. same graphics. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want it to so look to like a, that fabric. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so there's yeah. always, always a, some, something new, a new challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah there's always going to be but then some. A lot of these guys, sorry. They, 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 then I'll, I'll make something interesting for them. And then it's like, wow, this is actually a cool product. And then we might develop a product from their yeah. input, you know, so it's also quite cool to do these kind of weird things. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you get, uh, when you push that limit a little bit, you know, you get a little bit out of that comfort zone of what you guys are doing to go to that. Now it's, you know, like, yes. oh, wow, you know, this actually, I, I like the way that this turned out. And I yes, just, exactly. And I'm, I'm browsing and I came across the uh, website in one last the the material for the spandex stuff how is is that going to be as breathable as the perforated or is there going to be a, a noted difference in that i think you it's going to be you can it's it's really a, 
It's like the ball? it's like the it's like the similar to the uh, shirt fabric, but a lot thicker, like the MX mm, shirts. Yeah. So it's a bird's eye. It's got little slashes in it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's little okay. air stuff. But you know, like a riding shirt. It's okay. basically similar to that, but just thicker. Okay. And what's nice is the company made us a two versions. So mm-hmm. we're going to test a thinner version that's very similar to what's already out there. Mm-hmm. And then we're getting a thicker one as well. Okay. So I'm obviously going to the, I like the idea of thicker. a thicker one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's still, it's, it's, it has to be manufactured. It's still going to be here within like two, uh, uh, maybe. End of August. End of August we'll have it in hand because it's going to be shipped soon. Yeah. Nice. And then I'll see what the thicker thing looks like, how it prints and all that, because for me it makes sense. I mean, we were a little bit skeptical about the whole spandex jacket thing because there's no nothing, protection, mm-hmm. nothing. I mean, what does yeah. it do? It's just a it's glorified just a, shirt. Almost. It's just a glorified shirt. Yeah, it's a shirt with a zipper. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And pockets. Yeah. So I guess it's like a big bag with logos on it that you put on <laughs> over, your, over your air vest, basically. Yeah, because they couldn't make the air vest in a custom look. <laughs> so this is what yes, we're doing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, excellent. Well, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll definitely be looking forward for that. And then uh, I'll be uh, yes. I will put the the links in there and hopefully we'll get some more. And, I, you know, I'm going to start talking to some of the uh, these BMW guys. You know, they they, you know, they come in they're, they've got these really weird, you know, requests. And yes. I, well, I think we got another solution. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Oh, we've, I mean, that's what we did to the local KTM guys. Uh, we call him uh, the big Buddha. Mm-hmm. So KTM sent them our way because they can't they can't supply them with a four or five XL jacket that will actually yes. fit them, mm. and they would send them to us and like please help our customer yeah. and yes. we sort them out. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. I mean, that, that's the benefit of being able to do custom, you know, that that custom yes. and more one-off stuff. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. And we we don't compete. We don't compete with anyone out there, so we're actually one big family. Mm-hmm. Um, we basically like the like the KTM guys. We don't compete with their customer. They we actually assist them. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's important. Nice. Yeah. Yes. I think so. Well, excellent. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time. I mean, we're in in kind of in closing. Any other any other details, news, things coming up that you guys want to share? Or? Um. Well. Well, then hopefully, um, if everything goes well, I'll come and meet you guys in person next year. Nice. <laughs> kind um, of needs to do a rally. <laughs> yeah, I need to come do a rally there with you guys. So I'll chat to Willem. I'm going to see him today. Actually, he landed in Cape Town. What? Uh, so right. I'll see him today. Okay. Uh, have a coffee with him because he said I should come do the, the Baja rally mm-hmm. with him the sixth day. Yes. Um, so... Maybe, yeah. Hopefully, if everything goes well, I'll meet you guys in person all next year. Yeah. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. I need some oh. gear tested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, nice. yeah. For me, you'll see a, more, a lot more activity being out in the field. So, mm-hmm. doing the rallies and product testing. <laughs> so, nice. I got myself wrangled in there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's the... That's yeah. the uh, uh, We'll go with excuse. <laughs> We're doing yeah. product testing. Yeah. It's yes. not a vacation. Product it's product testing. Yeah, yeah, but that's all I, the moment he, he says he wants to go do something, then I'm just like, okay, it sounds good. sounds like marketing. You can, you're allowed to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And don't forget to talk about this, this, this. And yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hear you. You always, always have to be, you know, keep that in mind. I don't know if the ta- how the tax system works there, but uh, over here you know, <laughs> we look for opportunities. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly that. So awesome! Well, excellent. Well, again, I appreciate you guys taking the time and uh, beginning of the day for you, end of the day for me. But uh, I'm you know yeah. looking forward to seeing thanks. some more stuff and some more designs. Thank awesome, you, Victor. Victor, thanks a lot. So, of course, and, uh, have a good sleep. Yeah. Right. And we'll chat soon. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have an excellent day. Okay. 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 Thanks, man. Thank you. Bye. Be well. Bye-bye. All right. So there you have it. Gerd and Marie from Mira Activewear. That was interesting. I did not know that. But it explains a lot when I used to look up Mira Activewear, you know, back in the day when they were first getting the jackets. And I think it was the Happy Dave jacket. I'm like, ooh, where did that? Yeah. And it came up with women's wear. I'm like, 
no, I'm looking for the rally stuff, but now I know why. So very, very interesting uh, to see. And yeah, I'm looking, I mean, it's really cool to see the evolution of the jackets, you know, and going to the perforated, like it's just been these little refinements time and time again and to what they're doing. And yeah, I mean, if, if you're curious and you're listening to it, I'll, I'll have the link in the description uh, where you just click on it and jump over to the Instagram and just look at some of the jackets that they've done and the quality of the design and the printing, like it's really good, you know? And so I, I'm a fan. I don't know. Maybe there's uh, some Mira gear in the, uh, in the near future for chasing waypoints. I just got to come up with some kind of design. We could do uh, like a standardized one or something like that. Hmm. I mean, it's only ideas, right? And it looks like uh, there's a lot of them. Maybe something retro, some kind of old school, some like an older school to car jacket kind of deal. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What do you guys think? Sending your ideas. What would be a cool, uh, a cool design for the uh, chasing waypoints uh, stuff? So anyway, it is time for me to get to bed because it is 10 o'clock at night here on the West Coast. And uh, you guys will be listening to this soon. We've been off on the schedule a little bit, but we're getting back into it, uh, getting going. We'll have some more stuff uh, coming up uh, for it as well or for the podcast as well. Uh, we'll drop the news now because this will be the next episode you're hearing. But we are going to be changing, I think, changing the format a little bit, uh, trying to do some different things, get the... Uh, get you guys more some news and happenings and things like that going on uh and you know maybe even go to bi-weekly i don't know well you know we'll figure it out but the idea behind it is is that the mission hasn't changed since the beginning of the podcast and that's bringing the rally stuff to you guys getting more people into the sport getting the information out there getting more people behind road books that's been the big push that's going to become an even bigger push we've got to reorganize all of this stuff and and really move forward there has been a ton of interest and it has not stopped, you know, events like SoCal rally double tripling in size and, and meaning, I mean, it, it's, it is really, really awesome to see how much this sport is growing, uh, just over the last few years, you know, and now the introduction, uh, and the availability of having a rally bike, you know, that you can buy here stateside and don't have to jump through all of these hoops. I mean, there is one if you want it. I believe it's at uh, Malcolm Smith. It's uh, like sixty thousand uh, dollars, or you know, you could get a Cove and and do what you want. You get the adventure version. You know, or, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna call. I'm, I'm not helping them by changing, but they have their pro and then they have their standard. The standard being more the adventure bike style where, you know, it's got the it still has the tower, still has the look, uh, but it's not set up with all the roadbook navigation stuff like the pro is. That's just the high level of it because there's a bunch of details, titanium bolts, titanium exhaust, you know, uh, free flowing exhaust on it. Uh, no cat, all of these things on the pro, uh, the tuning, that kind of stuff versus the standard. But nevertheless, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. You can get a bike now to do this stuff and get started in it, or you can set up your own bike. You know, you have like uh, the team over at MotoMinded, they have rally towers that you can install on a lot of the Austrian bikes uh, and get it going. Um, you know, if you look over uh, on the other side and head just a little bit north into Canada, uh, Rally Moto Shop RMS, you know, you have handlebar mounts that you can put. Uh, on these bikes quickly and get all of your rally stuff set up. So very, very easy. So I think at the end of the day, uh, the resources are out there. It's time to revamp it a little bit and get these resources back in line uh, so we can help, you know, you guys and the people that are listening around the world doesn't even have to be here in North America. You know, there's a lot of people I, I see this, the stats and the impressions and all that stuff. And, you know, it's, this is awesome. This is, you know, me saying hello to everybody, you know, that I would never have thought, you know, a few years ago and 200 episodes, I would think that it would have, uh, I, I never knew that it would go into this, you know, and, and grow this big. So this is me signing off, but also saying thank you very much. Everybody that has tuned in and subscribed and shared and been a part of the podcast, been a part of the conversation, looking forward to doing it and getting back into it. We got a lot of stuff coming. If you've got ideas and stuff that you would want to hear about, stuff that you want to see, people that you want us to talk to, absolutely send it over. You can jump on the Instagram at Chasing Waypoints uh, or drop us an email. 
The link will be in the description for you guys to do that as well. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. So with that being said, guys, remember, it'll make sense when you get there. Enjoy the ride.